it's a beautiful day and of course we're glad to make sure that it even gets better you're joining us for a fresh episode of wake up nigeria yeah so if there's anyone uh, still in the house yeah. and asleep <laughs> what? I, I don't want to say get them to wake up yeah because it's 6 a.m and not 7. go get them up yeah go wake so them it's up. it's uh it's 6 a.m right and uh, <laughs> the show is now starting at this time I'm no longer 7 a.m. like we usually used to do. My name is Yomi Ope. And I'm Titi Lyo Uyin. So don't forget, we're streaming live on Facebook right now at TVC Connect. And of course, our hashtag is active right now. We're streaming live right now from 6 a.m. every day. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all active with our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary's still doing her hair. What? You know. Really? Really um, yummy. <laughs> really yummy. Did you have to call me out on this? Do you uh, do you know how hard it is to look so as hot we at this time of the to, We literally had to push. You know um, something. <laughs> yesterday, Yomi's voice was all bubbly, and then yeah. Yomi this morning it sounded like, like uh, you know, we sure. have was to I be bubbly awake, yesterday? Yes, and then of course. What is wrong with you? Wake <laughs> up! <laughs> was, I, was I bubbly yesterday? Awesome. I wasn't bubbly yesterday. You were. You were. At least you were. Sad. I think it was the adrenaline. I was not in the mood. You were not in the mood. Really. Wow, really? well, it's, okay. it's fine. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, so yeah. I think uh, so. We have so much happening today. Remember the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. There are birthday shout outs coming up today. You need to send in the name and picture of whoever in your family or friend who's celebrating a birthday today. We'll be doing some birthday shout outs a bit later on. Just yeah. start sending them in right now mm -hmm. Twitter, so Facebook, Instagram. There's yeah. going to be lots of stuff happening over the next uh, <laughs> three hours like three whole hours of entertainment. <laughs> You know, you keep emphasizing these three hours. I have to emphasize this thing, you Come know, just let now. people know that, you know, it's, it's, um, as they say, wow, all right, last laugh. Yes, last laugh. It's, it's gonna, it's, wow, uh, wow, it's, all right. uh, yeah, it's, it's special. <laughs> we're, we're putting in all this effort just for you and, you know, trying to make you happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to be starting the show. Yes, let's tell them what we're doing today. Yeah, we... gospel artist okay. Tolu Lokpe Akindele will be joining us. Uh, bringing us some musical performance very shortly, very shortly. Mm -hmm. now if you love tortoises we're going to be having ralph join us with his tortoise uh, talking to us about uh, having them as pets mm. have you ever <laughs> oh, thought of having goodness. a tortoise as a pet goodness me yeah. i don't know about that but we'll find out more and for our second musical performance for the day our samuel will be joining us a little later on on the show <laughs> Love that alternative sound. Then, of course, Mike has gist for us on our celebrities and what they've been up to lately. Yeah. That <laughs> photograph of Tiwa Savage, I thought she was stopping by. Yeah. <laughs> then. then we move on to our parenting segment with M.M. Wogugu, who uh, will be talking to us uh, about parenting from a united front. Mm. That one can be very tough. Yeah. Challenging, challenging. Then on Hair DIY, CEO of Le Chic Salon, Adenike. Uh, Iwashokun will be here. She'll be giving us a tip or two on how to manage and maintain curly hair. I love that one. Curly hair. Maintain curls. Mm, curls. Gets that curl in. And our guest of the day is uh, actor, comedian, and all around entertainment, Woche Nadi. He's going to be joining us uh, for a chat later on. All right. <laughs> Huche. So H O W H O. Oh, right. Huche. Did you just say H? Who H? Wow. Wow. W H. Oh, wow. So last last let the what? H was always come out. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I don't know what you're last, talking about. As long it's as you're so early in the morning. It's H, right? Not H. Right? Are we doing this now? Oh, are, we are we doing this now? It's okay. It's H. <laughs> Mike, I told you. By I even said Friday. I didn't know Tuesday was going to be the day. It's what are you talking about? I'm waiting for Mike. Mike, wake it's up it's now. It's Mike, all the ginger you had yesterday, you know, everything else. You know, you know, you know, you know, you guys now, since yesterday. I don't know why you guys are trying to. What? You're trying to why pass you trying on to your lethargy onto someone else. Who yes, told you I'm not ginger? Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to? Who told you? Why are you passing on to me? Yesterday, girl. Yeah. Both of them were. Both of this. them were. Yeah. And yeah. then yeah. now everything all changed. Doing, what's the three of you? Both of who was what? The ladies had to get glammed up and super fly. You guys just had to walk I in, remember that the tie your shoelaces, and throw on a jacket. I remember that the first whole, the first one minute of the show yesterday, I was complaining. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, was... Your voice is betraying you, Yami. Yeah, yeah, anyway. I, I know so, I... Yeah, I, I, there's something I want to talk about. Um, it, Ubi Franklin and Yaya, they've been training over, uh, over the past two days. And okay. it, it, I, you know why it, why it was quite interesting? When they 
split. Nobody said anything. Mm. They didn't come up with any statement and everything. And then maybe like, what, three years later, two, three years later, um, Yaya gives an interview and says, oh, I left the group because I was supposed to be a partner and uh, my name was not in the document. <laughs> okay. That was why, like, my friend sold me out. Like, he mm. sold me out, man. And then, we frankly now, Brings out, brings up the documents and uh, post on this thing and says your name was there and all of that. And they start going back and forth, calling each other names. And then he puts on a comment, says, yeah, yeah, don't comment on this picture. Go and comment on the... Uh, like, wow. after, I, my point is, you left it. You got right? You people went let your ways. Fester. You let it, yeah. you know, let it yeah. pass two, three years. And then you bring it back up. And then all of you are going... Rah, 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 rah. Mm. Okay, <laughs> you know, when things like this happen, happen exactly. Yeah. 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 Either something happened or somebody is seeking publicity for something yeah. or the other, yeah. or the bad blood is still very, yeah. very strong. Mm. So <laughs> it just had to speak. Usually these okay. kinds of things come up when maybe there was a money matter that wasn't settled some time yeah. back. Mm. Yeah. You yeah. know, maybe there's one money that they were waiting for that, ah, don't worry, in like three years, money will come, now the money has arrived. <laughs> and somebody now, isn't giving. Somebody, yeah. Uh, nah, I don't know. I'm just I'm saying. I don't think so, but I, 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 what actually happened was that it was in an interview, particular, um, station or somewhere channel and he mentioned me he mentioned it in passing okay and then I, I think he was prodded a bit more and then he went yeah. a little bit further mm. and okay this was what happened uh, and Baba, uh, you see the point thing was the phone the guy was you see I don't know what's doing all of <laughs> you and you see and then it went on it went, look Oga, that's one of the reasons why in Black Panther I didn't see many you didn't see there was only one Nigerian actor <laughs> okay and then you had to get people to form our own accent South African actors, you see them on their on their soups. Have you seen South African soups? They use their they accent. use vernacular. They use their yeah. like you feel you are in there. When you come to Nigerian soups, uh, the biggest soup. Mm, what are you talking about? Mm, mm, mm. So they speak like, a lot of. This is not how they talk, like man. Yeah. So you go to South, and then you see these guys. So they, you and then you come here, then you now have to get foreign guys to now form our African accent. Oh God, you should drop the accent. Drop yeah. the accent. You have you have oh, yeah, different yeah, yeah. types of cultures. You know yeah. the way people communicate is mm -hmm. different. The way people act is different. And then you have to think about the generation that passed mm -hmm. and whether they left a good enough legacy. But yes. there's no time. The influence is there. The yeah, for the actors in, in any case, not for the music. Yeah, music I want, I went there at certain all. people had yeah. to get roles, and yeah. certain okay. people had to fight for roles. Exactly. Okay. So Welcome back. Now, one of the biggest challenges we have in Lagos is mobility. On a Monday morning, or let's say a Tuesday morning, traffic can be really vicious. Now, uh, we decided we would try and help out by telling you what the traffic situation is like in some key areas of Lagos. Now, to help, this is just to help plan your trip better. You're still at home right now. You're about to enter those streets. Well, hey, if you're about to leave Aja area of Lagos, I can tell you it's going to take you about two hours, 10 minutes to get to Boni Camp. That's all the way in VI. Now, I can see that the major issues are around the Chevron area. Now, Chevron Junction, Chevron Roundabout is bumper to fender as at right now. And as we head east, we still have red lines, cars jam packed back to back all the way down to KFA events. That's the fifth roundabout area of the expressway, uh, the Ekbe, Leki Ekbe Expressway. Now, I can tell you that if you take an alternative route, you should be able to save about 10 to 15 minutes, but you still have quite a journey f ahead of you if you're leaving the house right now, heading towards Victoria Island. Another tough spot is the second roundabout. That's the place they call the Marua bus stop. Now, that particular area is going to take you about 15 minutes to get through that roundabout. Um, it does seem to be slow moving traffic all the way down to the Admiralty Way at the first Lekki Gate. Then the Lekki Toll Gate all the way from uh, Onira Estate all the way down Ozumba Mbadi Way um, is quite tight. It does seem to loosen up when you get to the Civic Center area, but then just after the Civic Center, if you're heading over the Falomo Bridge, you're still going to find it a little bit tight. If you are on the mainland right now, maybe heading anywhere from Maryland area of Lagos, all the way down to Costain, a Butemeta, you should have a smooth drive until you get to Ujuelegba Junction. 
the roundabout, the bridge, the whole area seems to be bumper to fender right now. Uh, when you pass that area and head towards Stadium Bus Stop, it does seem free until you start heading over the bridge. So from Alaka Bus Stop all the way to Ikmori Market, it is bumper to fender. Uh, for those of you who want to take an alternative route and maybe take some side streets and avoid the Funchal Williams uh, Avenue, you'll probably save a few minutes, but you'll end up getting to Costain from Maryland within about, if I can get that right, 44 minutes. So from Maryland to Costain, about a 45 minute journey. If you're coming from the trade fair area of Lagos State in Ojo, you're gonna have quite a journey ahead of you, about one hour, 10 minutes on the road if you take the Lagos Badagri Expressway. At this point in time, the major tension areas are around uh, the Alakija area, which is close to Satellite Town. Uh, that is actually Satellite Town's major junction. Alakija is tense right now. It is a little bit of slow moving traffic once you pass um, the Mile 2 bridge, but Mile 2 bridge has always been known to have its tense times. This is a key period of traffic for Mile 2, but it is quite free right now, all the way till you get to Mazamaza. Maza. So Mazamaza Maza does seem to be tense, uh, but after you get through the Mazamaza Maza junction, you are free plane sailing all the way till you get to, where is this? Uh, until you get to, okay, it's loading, it's loading. Aha, a Papa Igomu local government area. I'm talking about the bus stops that join a Papa road. Yeah, it's tense all across there right now. It's gonna take you quite a while for you to get from trade fair all the way to Ijora bus stop. Moving along now, if you're coming from Ojodu Berga right now, uh, it's quite tense. If you pass the Eco Bridge route, you'll be about an hour, 58 minutes on the road. And that's all we have time for on the traffic updates right now. Hopefully we've been getting be able to give you a little bit of insight onto as to what it's like on Lagos streets right now. Everybody is in the kitchen trying to get their morning coffee and you know and snacks going on and I'll Did be you're a professional them in a you're a professional bit. traffic updater. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. If you just, if you just wow. go traffic TV. Wow. <laughs> we'll Thanks a lot guys. I'm coming for my TV. coffee we right now. We should pay you we should pay you for <laughs> for yeah, that just stop amazing stop segment. Stop it, <laughs> giving the thing as if as if you are there. No? Okay, so um, to the trends. Um, yes, uh, please. Don't I mean, mention just before, that one. Yeah, just, before, about please, yeah, okay. just before you mention okay. that one, the big one that no, really okay. got to me um, is about the. Hi guys. Yeah. Hey. Wow. 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 Professional. Okay. Professional word. Is the professional is, word is the Boeing mm, um, sure. the Boeing Thank recalls. You. Thank you. Which one? From oh, um, the oh, yeah. Max recalls Where from all countries that have you know banned. You know, yeah. that's something, the man. Boy, man. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's mm. man. Like, like 24 countries already. Already. Mm. And, you know, okay, you're looking at, you're looking at, um, let's look at it this way. Mm. Uh, China, immediately. Immediately that as came out. This was the second time that, was that mm. uh, the crash was happening. So there's, there's news trending, and I don't know if it's true, but let's talk about some automated parts of the, air, the plane mm. that, that you know, they take uh, preventive measures when some when some things happen, and mm. that's what cost. But that's what causes. Oh yeah. That most of the pilots are not fully trained in that particular How new to make use of that particular on that aircraft plane, mm. on that particular seven three seven mm. Max eight mm. Um, mm. brands and all of that. Yeah. So China, a number of Ethiopia themselves, mm. themselves, and some other countries, they immediately. It, do, it does remind me. Oh, so it does remind me of, of you know when there was a particular um, cell phone company that had to recall a whole batch of phones because of yeah. explosions. Yeah. That was Samsung. Um, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> the Samsung. This, uh, yeah, it's it's well known. It's Samsung yeah, Note Yeah. 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 Uh, mm. That was uh, mm -hmm. exploding mm -hmm. uh, at the time. That was at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. years and that was a good move, as in, so they ensure that look safety first. Mm. And I, I know, yes, aircrafts are big. I mean, calling mm. back one whole craft and yeah. it's, it's happened big, before. Even you should. It's happened yes. before. The yes, yes. Um, the A three, no, Airbus. The, mm. the Airbus three eighty, A three eighty. That very big, big the, plane. the really big one. The batteries were exploding. Wow. 
wow. and that exploded into um, aircraft. And that was so it. they just recalled all the batteries. Mm. Because the batteries are supplied by a third party. Mm. A third party. Third party. So these are the kinds of things that they look at. So that technology, um, the, that implement you were talking about, can actually be from so another yeah, source. Yeah, this definitely. morning in the makeup room, there was actually definitely. an argument where Fola was saying <laughs> the problem is that certain people need to be trained, but they aren't getting the training they need. Mm -hmm. And so the question is who's to blame for that? Is it the manufacturers? There's or enough blame to go around. There's there's sure. I, I go wouldn't around blame the manufacturer because if, if there's a, a car crash, you don't blame the, the car company that made the car. Sometimes you, know, you there do. Are times, there are times you do. Really? Many times, yes. Are you and sure? paid, um, we've had major, major car dealers in the US have recalled models. Yes. But Plenty. more often than not, it you. does tend to be human error. No, wait, they, no, no, they, they have tend their to own. Put it they have their own. They have manufacturing yeah. effects. Mm. It happens with phones, it happens with everything. The manufacturing you can buy this coffee, what is what is this now? Coffee? Kettle. 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 And then the kettle used to boil water fast. <laughs> you no, know, if it's boiling it too fast or too slow. <laughs> I'm just going to return it to the store, but I probably wouldn't, exactly. I wouldn't, so you, I wouldn't sue exactly. the company for that. Paul Walker that died, yeah. in a, died in a Porsche. No. Yeah. Uh, it's, wow. I mean, wow. His, his family was his paid. Family. Wow. Yeah. By I mean, Porsche. I didn't know that. They were paid, yes. I they said because there was something they said, look, man, mm. this car had some. We expect that. You know, they do car crashes. Mm. So I've seen cars where they, they, they do dummy tests and tell you there are some cars that, look, even if you have an accident, you have a very low percentage of. Mm. of passing on or dying in that kind of car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they give you their word. Exactly. And then when exactly. these kind of things happen in this kind of cars, you expect that I look or more. Let's hold mm -hmm. it down. Speaking I heard, of I heard, cars, oh, okay. I heard recently, um, I think in the last two years, mm -hmm. so if you, if you had bought a Volvo in the last two years, <laughs> especially the S80, you can't die in a Volvo. <laughs> huh? I, I, well, I'm unless being... the container falls on it, but <laughs> <laughs> can I? Can I? But, like can in I? a normal, video, in a normal training. crash, you can't yeah, die like in a three videos training. This is oh, not wow. the crash video. There's one that's training. It was in Afghanistan. A U.S. cargo. Um, it was a U.S. Um, uh, ammunition cargo plane. Yeah. That is not the Ethiopia airline. It's training and people are going, oh God. The it is the not crash that happened, one. Yes. That oh, was. Yeah. Can I take you to something else that's trending? What? All of you would have liked to go and live on the island. Look at the traffic report. There was more traffic heading from Aja to VI <laughs> than, than, than heading, heading because you're from, me others look like. from, than heading from Bega. To VI. Mm. Beggar to VI is less than an hour. Well, we, we don't stay in VI. And we don't know this kind of to thing. VI is yeah. two hours. Like two hours. We don't stay. What are you going to look I mean, for on that island? I mean, for those of us in VI, we don't Goodness see this kind of me. things. No, but uh, you know, living on the I, island, there are actually, you, you have access to some very interesting things. I beg you, that traffic it's, is it's, crazy. It's, it's you see what well, red lines you guys, throughout. You guys are saying stuff about traffic. I left, I left my house when normal people were still sleeping. <laughs> oh, there was yet. no car on the road. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> Just random people like spiritual beings. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. On the road. I'm not kidding. Uh, you know, this reminds me of something that happened walking on, on the street. Sunday no. morning. Yeah, Sunday morning. I was picked up, you know, I work on radio as well, mm. and we're heading to the office. I was still yelling at the driver that, mm. why were you late? <laughs> and then we settled in, we're driving down, and just the same route it, it would have passed at the right time if we had gone at that time, yeah. there was an accident. Oh, no. It was really bad. Like, the vehicle, it right off, mm. the six occupants, had seven of them, had mm. been taken to the hospital. Wow. The car even destroyed some shops in that area. Wow. It was really, really bad. Fast. Yes, like a really, really, bad. really bad, really mm. bad. Yes, yeah, so please mm. take care on the roads, people. Take yeah. care on it's the roads. It's very important. It's not worth the rush. It's not worth it. The job will be there ah. when you're not there. If only you knew. Well, when you're in Lagos, though, you, yeah. you can't really... It's what? hard. It's hard to... To, to not rush. <laughs> please, <laughs> it's please. Tough. Yes, that's if you're not there to do the job, it's somebody it's else will do it. I'm just saying, it's don't it's rush. Make, make haste slowly. <laughs> Make <laughs> this slowly. Okay, that, that's my. I have slowly. no idea what that means, but we have to wrap this up now. All right, now, of course, we're going to be taking a break now. When we return, birthday shout outs. Woohoo! Yes, so <laughs> we'll do that birthday shout out. Mm -hmm. We're all doing it. I hope you're not going away. <laughs> We're going to be the birthday shout outs together. So, when it comes to birthdays, everybody loves birthdays. Yeah. Don't, don't people love birthdays? Yeah. You know, it, it is quite a coincidence that uh, today's my girl's birthday. Oh, <laughs> oh. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 
is our birthday. She's so six years old today. Yes, it's, it's a really big deal for me. So you get to you get I'm to wearing a favorite color. color. <laughs> yes. Is it true that Sherry has a sharp mouth? Uh-uh. Should, Should I mean, call her for you? Sure. Like ah. I could call her now ah. and say, hello, uh, my colleague Yomi just said that. Is it true you have a sharp mouth? <laughs> 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 you experience it first. And, <laughs> it's and, and, and then um, a belated <laughs> birthday shout out to our CEO, Mr. Andrew Hanlon. His birthday yeah. was yesterday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Andrew. Happy birthday, Andrew. All right. Well, Quite well, a number well, of people well. were celebrating so you know, yesterday you know, as well. I know mm -hmm. this is the first time we're doing this, mm -hmm. but to everybody out there, let's put it out there. Mm -hmm. Send in your pictures. You can send it live. Two yes. But his real name, yeah, Two Face was the villain. Yeah. When he after he he, he got that injury, yeah. yeah. He was he was a DA. Yeah. Before he became Two Face. The district and all attorney. That. The district attorney he and all that. Great. So yeah. yeah. Dark Knight, one nice of the best guy. movies of all time, with the best villain of all time, the Joker. Joker. His leader. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice one. Nice okay. One. Hey. Hey. Oh yeah. Bye bye Empire. <laughs> you didn't just say bye bye Empire. Wow. <laughs> like seriously. Terrence bye. Howard. Happy oh. birthday to Terrence Howard. Bye bye but, Empire. But Mary, can you can, well, can both of us? Can both of us just 
Breathe in and breathe out. And look at that fine man right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, Titi, we listen. know you. That is love. a fine man oh, right there. I told you to cookie now. And let's this form, particular. Let's form, let's form Lucius now. <laughs> now that's my man. Calm well, down. He's not, now I'm trying to imitate, imitate once, Cookie once, now. He's, I'm not saying he's my Titi man. Sees now. Like yeah. I see Cookie. Like no, not like <laughs> I'm even surprised. She likes them. At, you know, you what? are spec. Wow. Like, no, what was this spec? You are Titi spec. Nope. <laughs> she, she has sold us. If you haven't seen them, wrong. Yeah, I'm not Why are you specking wrong. somebody for that person? <laughs> <laughs> is it your spec? Wrong. <laughs> no, Anyhow, your, Terrence is, Howard is fine. Happy birthday, imitation. Terrence Howard. Let's do our best imitation of Terrence. Which can you remember? Okay. Which is our best? Which one? You I'm can thinking, do yours. I'm, I'm thinking of which one now. Is it um, him to his sons or him to Cookie um, or him to... Um, him as a bad guy. Him, him as, as a bad guy. You're already the bad guy. Which one comes now? You're me the bad guy. Which one comes now? Which one comes to mind now? I don't know. That is smoky husky voice. No, when he's when he's checking cookie out. Ah, ah, wow. cookie, get me them cookies, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, man. Well, well, he's checking cookie. Oh but those God. guys, their love and hate relationship is just off the hook, man. It is. It's, it's really great, it's great cool. series, but it's I think cool. after the third season, fourth season, yeah, for me, it's it dragging, went downhill. It's dragging. Mike, why, for are you, why are you here? No, that's for me. No, it's it's a show filled with fine, it's fine boys. That's African -Americans. what African Americans. You, know you know what happens? Don't they're very, hate. They're very appreciate. Few shows. It happens everywhere. <laughs> now, if you look at ratings in the US, you're, you're talking mm. about you mainly watch a show. The next are the ratings or the, 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 the viewership shows at once. So yeah. Yes. Now, you look at Walking Dead, you look at um, Empire. They kind of walking that has been dropping since season six. It's yeah. been yeah. dropping. Mm -hmm. Game of Thrones is the only one that increases. Ah, no. But worry. that's because that's because ah. you, that's because Game of Thrones has been telling you that they're about to end yeah. for like three seasons. <laughs> <laughs> so they've been no, giving you that going vibe. To have one more final season. Yeah. Yeah. It's 7 a.m. Yes, yeah, so it's another beautiful day. And of course, in this fresh, it's still quite a fresh week. Mm. It's really exciting because we're here for another hour, another fresh hour. We're, we're trying to bring you oh, a more, a more chilled and a more relaxed show. Yeah. So we started at 6 a.m. We so started at 6. Yeah. So just in case you didn't watch us yesterday, mm -hmm. now we're reminding you that <laughs> every single day at 6 a.m., this show starts. Yes, indeed. And we're, we're bending over backwards for you guys just to make sure that you guys have the best mornings ever. We're doing our best mm. to make sure you get all the right information and, of course, have an entertaining time as you get ready for your day. We already had the traffic report. That was interesting, though. That was quite interesting. It was different I, I, I didn't me. know you were a professional. What? Um, what? Professional what? Like you were a professional traffic what? reporter. <laughs> okay. You did, you did this before, right? No. When you were on radio. No. No. Like you knew you knew all the areas, like you were talking I'm, about I'm Amor. A I'm a Lagos Talking gay. about Leki Aja. I'm a Lagos gay. All this <laughs> time <laughs> bikes too from way back. <laughs> yes, if you enter public transport in Lagos, you'll know the way around. But um, enough about that. We're gonna be having quite a show today. Thank you so much for joining us. And hopefully we'll be you'll be here with us every single morning. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make it worth your while, I tell you. 6 a.m. to 8.45 a.m. My name is Yomi Oke. And I'm Titi Laya Oyinso. Now we're going to be spending the remaining two hours of the show with you. If you need to step out before then, please stream with us. Stream live on Facebook at TVC Connect. Yeah, of course, for comments, use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. We talked about birthdays earlier on, so if yes, you still want to send out uh, birthday shout outs, please use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria and send us a photograph of yourself or your loved one. Yes, indeed. Mm. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we're all live right now. We're already trending. Please. Sending your comments. Yeah. Uh, your comments. We're going to be having a chef eventually in eventually. the kitchen. <laughs> chef Alex. Yes, indeed. Still uh, trying to navigate his way here. Yeah. yeah. It's actually around. It's trying to get Mike now, so he should be in All here right. any moment from now. Yeah. But we also have our pet segment coming mm. up today. And guess what we're talking about this morning? Tortoises. <laughs> tortoises. Yeah. With uh, Ralph. Yes, yeah, so mm, I wonder what size is going to be the one he's bringing. I really can't wait to see that tortoise myself. Mm. We're going to be talking about how to take care of tortoise as a tortoise as a pet. Mm. 
It's an interesting one. If yeah. you if you don't want fur and feathers everywhere, <laughs> you very can, true. You can try a tortoise. Very true. Right? And then very unintrusive. They don't disturb you. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure I've ever heard a tortoise actually say anything. <laughs> now, right after that, we uh, uh, we have Abiono Samuel, who's going to be uh, coming to us with a musical performance. Mike has us covered, bringing us news from our celebrities. Justice Smollett. Yes, so. He's in the news again. Mm-hmm. And from that, we have parenting. M.M. Walker will be joining us uh, for parenting yes, uh, very indeed. shortly. And our parenting segment today is an interesting topic, very, very interesting topic. We're going to be talking about united parenting, mm -hmm. having a united front for... Wait, when you say you united, know. anyway. Yeah, I, mean, I said that's, united that's parenting. What, I said that's what we're going to be asking. No, no, I'm wondering, yeah. I'm wondering what it means. What do you mean. to do with Manchester United? <laughs> All right, so from Le Chic Salon, we're going to be having the CEO join us for a DIY. She's going to be talking to us about uh, talking to people with curly hair. Yes, so How best to maintain it. Yes, sir. Mm. Maintaining your coins. Coins. Yeah. Coins. Getting coins. Yeah. That's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Our last guest for the day is Nigerian comedian and actor Uche Nadi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, in case you missed the memo, you're already a day and a half late. <laughs> <laughs> we started Wake Up Nigeria yesterday from 6 a.m. So today we also started at 6 a.m. So you missed like an hour of the show, right? Like one hour is gone already, I'm <laughs> yeah. just telling you. So for all you ladies that always give that excuse, oh, I can't get ready by that time. Yo, it works. Yeah, we actually have been doing it for two days now. So we're working Getting all glammed up I, I and dressed up. You, you, both of you get your makeup done. Yeah, like, we do. And still get on set by 6 a.m. A record it was heals. broken today. But mm. thumbs up. got here before me. Thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up to both of you. I did, I did. Mm. It, it's and then, so, uh, interesting. And then we're going to be working on something very soon. We're going to be doing some giveaways on our app mm. so that you can watch us on the go. Yeah. Um, we have our, our app. Yes. So we're going to the be doing something app. quite very soon. Yeah, yeah the yeah. TVC app. Mm. And you can watch us on the go. We're going to be doing something quite soon. So uh, mm. get ready for that. A yes, lot. Indeed. But then, yeah, it's, uh... And then quickly, um, earlier we were giving birthday shout outs, but I'm sure many people are not aware that on radio, that's Max FM, we mm -hmm. also give uh, wedding calls on Saturdays. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. That yeah, we, we can't brought do that, that on back. Friday. We brought that back. <laughs> we should wedding do wedding call. shout out. Yeah, wedding shout out. Yeah. So oh, for all Saturday of you that morning. are going for the OAMBE to go and eat What's your pointing hand at Give me? shout out to the couple uh, yeah, the day before. Yeah. We even call them live. So by the way, MM is producing behind the set. And yes, she's yes. just feeling like one woman that... Uh, okay, so hey, MM move, move, really move, move, I'm suspecting move like Mike this. is trying to get something from him. Like, like two days now. Mm. It's been on MM, MM. Oh, yeah, MM. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> MM, please give it to him so wow. we can have to <laughs> talk. Like, Why don't you just say this? It is just one time. It's just one time. If I need to... Wow. MM, Your is, my, is, MM is my sister. Do you know what you need to have a sister? I don't need to ask. You already know that she'll give me before I even ask her. You gave yourself away. Come up and then we're going to do just lean back. 
put your hands out here please don't put it here here and they are going to go one one two three three one two three four five six seven she's still in the gun eight nine last one ten opposite leg one two three go one two three four five six seven eight nine last one here ten okay we're going back to the ground okay we're putting our hands underneath our back we're going to keep our legs out and then we're going to go scissors. One, two, three, cross it. One, two, three, three, four, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One, last one, two. Okay, let's stand up. And this one standing out. And we're going to end with this. So we're going to go one, cross, one, two, three, three, one, same leg, two, three, four, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, last one, twelve. Okay, let's go to the opposite leg. One, two, three. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching out with us today. I'll see you here next time, by this time next week. Thank you. All right, all that move, really nice exercise in the garden. Well, you're welcome to the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. And joining us for the second time on the show is Chef Alex. Yeah. yeah. Chef Alex, pleasure to have you again. Thank you for yeah. having me once again. Okay, so for breakfast this morning, it's going to be sweet corn frita yeah. with avocado. Yeah. All right, so let's get started. Uh, what are the ingredients we're making use of? They're on your screen right now. Sweet okay. corn frita with avocado. So you check out the ingredients. Very simple, really. Very simple. Yeah. Uh, so we have... So we have uh, our sweet corn here. Okay. We have our flour. Okay. We have our milk, liquid milk precisely. Okay. And we have our eggs. Okay. And of course, we have avocado. You so know, you recommend grow. liquid milk, obviously. Yeah, yeah I recommend liquid over milk. Just over, over just powdered, powdered milk. Powdered milk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, what if I, I don't have access to this? Oh, and yes, I decide you, can, to... you can use powdered milk, sure, you can use but powdered milk. But I, I prefer liquid milk because of the, the richness, the taste, and um, okay. of course, it's, I always prefer liquid milk for this recipe. Okay, for this yeah. recipe. Yeah. All right, and then we have our oil heating oil up. Yeah, already heating up yes, here. Yes, because when you hear fritter, you already yeah. know there's yeah. a lot of frying going a on. A little bit of oil, actually. Okay. Take note of that. Just a little oil, not deep frying, it's shallow frying. Okay. So you just want to shallow fry it like that. And okay, I, I can't wait to see what you're up to. <laughs> Okay, all right, so. thank you. So quickly, what you just need to do for this um, simple dish is you bring your sweet corn here on the board. Everybody okay. always calls it a simple dish. <laughs> yeah, every chef says, oh, my dish is simple. Yeah. Until you start wondering where they started from and where they're heading to. So <laughs> what you just want to do is uh, chop this up, okay. you know. So it can really, really bind together because if you use this corn like this, this way, okay. it's gonna be very tough for you to, you know, bring the fritters together. Oh, so you need really? to, yeah, yeah, you need to chop it off so it does not, you know, scatter up. Is it okay if I decide to just use my grinder? If you use a grinder, it will be too uh, coarse, you know, it's, oh. gonna, it's gonna grind too much. Yeah. So, so it's, this it's is the only way to get it right. No, not really. If you if you have a food processor. A food processor yeah, can if, get yeah, that. Yeah, if you have a food processor, it can just coarsely grind it for you. And another thing for blender is when you when you blend this uh, kind of ingredient in the blender, yeah. it has it has a way of sticking to the sides of the jug. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you don't get the real, you don't get everything blended. Okay. So I think food processor is what better. What if you put a bit of water or oil? 
don't we don't we don't want too much of water in this this food so it does not become too runny. Okay. The idea of the food is to you know mold it together like meatballs, you know, okay. then do it like a pity okay. kind of so you can uh, just fry them. So you, you 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 don't want it to be too runny. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's how it works. Okay. So we just keep chopping it fine. Just keep like chopping this. it fine like this. This will yeah. obviously take a while. Oh yeah, no, well, not really. And you said the dish was simple. <laughs> See what I told you? <laughs> Every so chef says, way. "What a simple dish." Or do you have to start the kids like this? <laughs> All right. So we still have Chef Alex in the kitchen. Right. He's very busy right now. This yeah. will definitely take a while. You can see there's quite a lot of uh, sweet corn sweet here. Corn here uh, so what we will do is to head over to the garden for our pet segment. We have Yomi on standby with Ralph and a tortoise in the garden. Oh my gosh, I want to touch that one. Hi, Yomi. All right, so every Tuesday we try to bring you something to do with pets, right? And we've done dogs, we've done um, cats, and a couple of other animals. Today we're going to be looking at tortoises. And I know some people, for some people it's a bit strange, but for some of us that grew up around some things like this, it's not too strange to have a tortoise in your house. They're easy to maintain, they're quiet, they don't disturb. And I have here with me Pastor Ralph, who's going to be talking to us about tortoises. So tell us about um, this animal. Yes, the, this animal, we used to know about it when we were small. Yes. They tell us story, different story about tortoise. Yes. So one day I said, the coming generation, they have not seen it. It's only on a, a, a storybook. Yes, I don't know what, what happened. Suddenly, the tortoises just disappeared. Yes. People used to have it in their backyard and, and things like that. Uh, the, the reason is that some people are afraid of having it today mm -hmm. because they may think you're using it for fetish right. reasons. Right, okay. okay. So, so that's one of the reasons. Yes, that's that is one, one of the, of the reasons. reasons. So anyway, but they, they look very, um, you, you said that they're shy. They're they are shy, shy, yes. The they are very that, yeah. shy. Because, I mean, shy. we've been sitting here for like um, 10, 15 minutes. Yes, and it hasn't even, it's just coming out just gradually. Coming out gradually. Just coming out gradually. Exactly. So they're also very easy to maintain. Tell us how, so if, if I wanted to get a, a, get a tortoise for myself or for my children, what do I need to know okay. and how do I take care of it? Yes, like tortoise, they eat every food that human beings eat. Hmm. And they eat every fruit and vegetable. They are very easy to maintain because they don't make noise. Hmm. They always look for a, a cold corner and they stay. Hmm. And when they notice there is no movement of human beings in the house, they can come out and begin to move. Hmm. And immediately, you can see now it's coming out. Yes, it is. I can see immediately, that. You just notice the movement of somebody will go inside mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. So they are very easy to maintain. So, so do they recognize their owners? Like, is it after a while, does the tortoise yes, know that this yes. is the owner? Yes, after a while. As you're feeding them, they will know that you are the one that is always giving them food. Mm. So sometimes when you bring out food, they will come and eat it. Right. So how, how does the tortoise reproduce? I know that they lay eggs. Yes, they lay how eggs. Do, they, do you need to then go and bring another tortoise to join it? And yes, they have them male them. and female. Like right. this very one is the male one. Right. And there is a way you know the male, female, okay. uh, and female. Like this one now. The male one, the inside, mm. this place will go inside. Right. But the female one, it will be it's flat. flat. Okay. So, and they, they mate. Wow. Yeah. They meet before they lay eggs. Yes. Okay. And they bury their eggs in the soil. Wow. And it could take up to 90 to 120 days. 90 to 120 days. Yes, wow. to Almost hash. six months to, yes, to hatch. To hatch. Wow. Okay. So um, for so this this particular one now, yes. I mean, it's um, it's it's actually smallish in size. Yes, it's not it's too big. Small. It's not, it's not too big. But so how, how many how many years old is this? This is about eight years old. Eight years old. Yes. And is this still this small size? still this small. Oh, wow. Wow. Because I heard that they live up to 200 years yes, sometimes. Yes, they live very long. Wow. They don't grow fast, so they mm. live very long. Wow. So that means you can have a, one tortoise for a whole generation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even your children will inherit it. Wow. That's, that's amazing. I think it's... So how do we get tortoises? I mean, I mean, like I said, growing up, it was easy to find. If you don't have in your house, you yeah. would find in somebody yeah. else's house. Yeah. But now it looks like they're scarce. So if I wanted to find a tortoise, how do I get one? Yes. They are sold in some markets, not okay, every not market, market, yes. Yeah. And so like, that, so I think some people use it for meat. 
Yeah, yes, I've some people it. eat it, but I've never eaten the meat. Yeah. I just like it as Okay, so they're sold in some markets, yes. you go there. And so that. how do you store them? Um, is this in a cage or you just leave them? You just grow? leave them in the compound, they walk around in the compound. Right. So very simple. Just you know. very simple. Uh, how about water? Do, 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 uh, they, they, they do drink water. You yeah. put water in a shallow plate. In a shallow place, so yes, they go there, so that drink, they won't get drunk, and they eat anything, whatever, anything, exactly. they anything eat, fruits, they see vegetables, there, they can anything. Eat. They eat Even well. without food, they can survive for one week or more. Mm. Wow. Without any food, mm. they can survive. So for for um, it, it looks like it's as, it's very very simple. So I don't know why more people aren't and taking it up so people it, shouldn't be afraid of yes it's just because uh, they're the not fetish, seeing it around yeah yeah the, the fetish um, ideas, ideas that, that they've been yes. getting all the, more recently and all of that exactly. and most, even stuff that maybe they see on home videos yeah. because i think it's also those home videos that are getting people yes, scared yes. when you say in the home video they say go and bring a tortoise, a tortoise and bring, well, you know this uh, yeah so that's but i think children will, will really be interested in yes, something like even this. my children they, they used to play with it even when there is no light they don't feel it because they will always be playing with it. They want to know when it will come out, the first person to notice when it come out. Mm. All right, so in order for us to conclude, so okay. if, um, how, do they, how do you manage um, waste from, from the tortoise? The waste, uh, it's just like twice a day. Okay. Twice a day and it's just watery and you use something to take it. Yeah, so if it's, of course, if it's in a grassy yes. area, you can just cover it up very exactly. quickly. All right, Pastor Ralph, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Uh, yes, to talk to us about this story is yes. really, really excited. I think I'm going to get one for my kids. <laughs> right. I'm thinking about it. All right. All right, so we're heading to back to the studio now where we promised you a performance. You're going to be impressed by this. Let's take it. All right, thank you so much for that. A tortoise right here on set. I need to take a selfie with that animal. I'm going to be, you know, a little ginger right now. Hopefully you're going to be gingered along with me. It's time for music. And someone that loved music from a very tender age is right here with us. Abiodun Samuel finally releases his debut single, Surface. Uh, he released it in September of last year and was driven to that desire to reveal a side of God that people rarely get to see in this present time. I've been able to appreciate his voice. Now it's about time for you to appreciate it too. Take it away. Thank you. Hear the voices, people singing all around, saying you are good, you are the everlasting one. But it makes no sense to me if in reality, deep down in my heart, I'm far from eternity, but my soul longs for you. To be with you, wants to know you for you, not just a music a tune. I want the friendship between me and you to be glowing. Your presence in my life always to be showing. Word daily in my life, I've been knowing, and all of you is all I've been knowing. Shout on the rooftop about your glory. How you changed my life and changed my whole story. How from the backseat of the knowledge of you to a place where I can rise above the surface. No more in the ground. I want to rise above the surface here and now. No more general announcement. No more collective view. Because when I rise above the surface, I am with you. Addiction, a habit I cannot let go of, eating me inside out. Questions my walk with you, when I really want to be with you, or I'm intoxicated about the gifts I get from you. System. Can't see you clearly, my vision and sight is getting them. Darkness looms around my heart, Jesus. Without you, I'm gonna lose totally my 
more of you I desire, more of you and me. So when I face a battle, at least you will last with me. But I'm stuck in the midst of what you really mean. That's why I require more to rise above the surface. No more in the ground. I want to rise above the surface. Here and now. No more general announcement. No more collective view. Because when I rise. about the surface back to the kitchen yes it's to wake up nigeria and my chef for the day is chef alex he's been making sweet corn frita with avocado and yeah. we've been having a lot of fun just doing the chopping thing right here <laughs> so you're done with the chopping of the the, the sweet corn yeah, the and then of course you also uh, did this with the avocado yes. something similar the ingredients are on your screen right now check them out sweet corn frita with avocado that's what we're having for breakfast today so the oil is heating up yeah. we'll just put this aside for a while wow. and then we get started with the mix so we yes. can start frying yes okay mm. so for the mixing the first thing we're going to add is the sweet, the sweet corn. corn yes yeah, that's yes that's the, the first thing. thing yeah <laughs> so it goes into the pan like that okay that way all of it all of it okay. yes all of it and so your milk milk okay of course Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay. Like Any reason for it being in the middle? No, it doesn't, just, matter. it doesn't matter. It just has, has to go around, you know? Okay. So then your egg. Okay, you're not going to beat that. No, oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to beat while we're mixing it, oh. so it doesn't really matter. Okay, yeah. okay. So, our egg. All right. Yeah. So, so that's all. That's all? Just three ingredients like that. Okay. That's all. Okay. So just mix this together. Uh -huh. You see that? Has it together like that. All right. Okay. I can already see this in the pan. <laughs> <laughs> so what you, what, what you do with the flour is just to make it bind together. That's all. Okay. So, so the flour is just to just gonna bind it together. Put it together. That's all. So just take a few spoon like that, so put it over it. Okay. And mix, and you're gonna see it thicken up. Yeah, I think you're gonna put some more. Flour. Some more, yeah. Okay. Some more flour. All right. Away. Keep doing this till yeah, we get the to right get the right consistency. consistency. It's better than pouring in all the water. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look what we did. <laughs> so I think I still need a little bit more yeah. flour. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure so many of you are curious as to what's going to happen with the avocado. Just relax. <laughs> just relax. A few more seconds and you'll find out. Okay, so I'm okay with this consistency. You, you're fine with this? Yes, this is okay for yeah, me. Yeah, so we're about to start frying. Yeah. And then comes the last ingredient. Yeah. At what point does this come in? Okay, the avocado, avocado uh, actually is just to, to top it up. When you finish when frying? When you finish frying, yes. Okay. So you just put avocado in the middle, then so put another. So at one point, you're trying to get the taste of uh, sweet, sweet corn, corn in your mouth, in your and mouth. then the next thing, the avocado just... Ah, oh my God. It. <laughs> oh, you just said she was no way. fine. So... The, the salt? The salt is good. It's, it's for, the for, for the avocado. Yeah, okay. I like my avocado salty. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. okay. I like it salty. Yeah, I know some people wouldn't have avocado without salt. It's without salt, so yeah. So that yeah. isn't surprising I'm one of them. Me. So, okay. uh, so we start frying. We start frying. Just wait for the oil to heat up a little so bit more. Heat up a bit. Yeah. Make sure the, 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 the oil heats up. Okay. You know, to the right um, temperature, very, very hot. Because if, if the oil is not hot... Oh, it must be very it must, hot. It must be hot. Oh, why? Why hot. is that? This one must be hot because if, if, if it's not hot like that, yeah. your, your, your frida, it's going to soak the oil. Oh. You understand? So it's just going to get soggy. So you need it to be very, very hot. hot. Very hot. I, I, I suppose that means it doesn't stay for too long. No, 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 no. no at at all. All. Yeah, at all. Okay. I think it's hot enough it's now. It's hot enough. So yeah, we don't want to just, set up Just take your spoon now. like that. <laughs> just add your dollop like that. You see? Okay, so it's going to be flat. It's going to be flat, exactly. Uh -huh. All right. I thought we were going to make balls of them. Can we make balls? Yeah, you, yeah. if you want to make balls, just make sure that uh, there's, more the, there's more flour so you can mold it into a ball we'll do some as flat um, like this and then we'll make some balls it's fine it's yeah. fine there's no problem with that i like things with 
just as much <laughs> as I like eating them. <laughs> All right, so, so as you can great. see, yes, yeah, ready. Right. So you just flip this show. over. Yes. Yeah. Flip it. Yeah, that there way. we go. Looks like tiny, uh, something between crepes and pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> No way. This is really nice. Who would have thought you could fry sweet corn? Mm. Like, seriously? You can, you can, actually. My goodness. So sweet corn, way. though. When people talk about sweet corn, we're talking about salads, we're talking uh, about fried rice. There's a, lo there's a, lot, you can, rice. There's a lot, lot, lot you can do with different ingredients. You, know? uh -huh. you can fried fry, you can throw. There's a lot you can do. So that way it's ready. Just just make sure it's, it's brown on the both sides like that. Okay. You know? So. Now, is with, or it's actually an existing Confit is an existing dish, okay? But what, what I just try to do is uh, try to incorporate um, our, our, lo our locally our grown ingredients, ingredients, yes, by putting the avoc avocado inside it. So okay. that's all. Okay. So all this right. is ready. That is ready, and yeah, it looks like really that. nice. You oh see? my gosh, so I just, love just the that way. color. Huh? So, uh, you know, that's the best part of being in the kitchen. Hmm? You get to have the first taste, first everything. <laughs> While everybody looks at you and goes, Mary. I got my eyes on you. Well, I have my eyes on the entertainment news right now, and Mike is on standby. Hi, Mike. <laughs> so you put your, eye your eyes on the food. You I just know. try yourself. If you don't <laughs> try yourself, those eyes will be turning on you. <laughs> like <All right>. I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Mary, just ensure that uh, my share. No, no. Oh, and this is <laughs> this is welcome to entertainment news and i've got rachel in the house aka mmo bong two <laughs> right of tvc in tvc here there's mmo bong one oh, okay. so, but who that sounds like mem i don't know that name used to make them well deal with it <laughs> Yeah, All right, it's good to have you. You're welcome. Hi, Dean. Always good to be here. Okay, so let's get straight to it. We're starting with local stories, and Tiwa Savage is in the news for maybe some good reasons. Mm -hmm. What's she talking about? Okay, so now she's saying that women don't have, or people don't have respect for women in Nigeria. But then I, I kind of agree with her, but I don't think it's a Nigerian thing, or thing. it's a Nigerian thing. Mm. It's a worldwide thing. Mm. Okay, now, so I'll take you to um, Chloe Kardashian's story, yes. So Chloe Kardashian's baby daddy, Tristan, cheats on her with her best, uh, her sister's best, best friend, friend yeah. and it's a Kardashian curse. It's mm. a Chloe thing because she's a woman. Mm. Yes. Nobody's so just talking think, about the yeah, guy. Yeah, nobody's like... talking about the guy. Have you, have you heard anything? I just had to bring that story in because I feel like my voice should be heard. I'm really mad at everyone <laughs> who <laughs> is saying something about Chloe Kardashian. <laughs> and then also brings me to the thing with MC Galaxy. It's been trending for mm, a while about mm. him saying people should go in for 50,000 naira. And it's, it's, it's because of how people have made women sex objects, and it's just very mm. annoying. We don't so, respect so, so what, what's women. So what's Tiwa's message? Because she put out the tweet. Tiwa so what is exact saying message? that people hate her for being her, people don't respect women, that some they don't realize. I think it's just... Mm. What I said to my boss last week before we prepared yeah, for International Women's about. Day, yeah. I said it, women should be given a day off when it's that time of the month. We, we are really underestimated, and not wow. respected and undervalued okay. in right. the world. I know, I know that Mary, Titi, and MM would agree with Rachel on this one. But then, let's move on to something else. A guy's making things happen. David O, David O, allegedly mm -hmm. spent over 70 million there Lati. to buy, to, he picked Lattice call this time. Lati! <laughs> he was gonna pick Lattice call this time. Yeah. He, he put up a video um, of uh, the, the of t the, the car taking delivery of that car. Mm -hmm. Let's see that video now. And man, this is something. It what is something. a wawu! Everyone should have a friend like. Yeah, David that's Joe. the video. That's that's the car being mm -hmm. delivered. Mm -hmm. And he said he was going on the spree, so his whole team is buying them cars. Yes, yeah, buying them cars. I mean, when you have thirty billion in your accounts, what do you expect? <laughs> you buy cars. <laughs> but, but what do you think day? about this gesture? What do you think about I think, David? I think it's a good one. I think every celebrity should emulate this act. Every celebrity should do something like this for to appreciate people on their team. Hmm. It would be it, it would be um, a good time for Nigerians. We won't have cases like um, in Yaya and Dubi Franklin if, if this <laughs> happened every day. Don't go there, if this man. happened every day, yes, we don't have cases like that. So mm. it's, it's just to show that you appreciate what they're doing. What and they're doing, up, right? Yeah. Great one, great one. I really, uh, these are the kind of things that makes me, you know, me feel David and like, yeah, he's yeah. doing quite well. He has his own mistakes, but mm -hmm. dude, you're the man, you're the man. You are the man. All yeah. right, let's head to international stories now from one celebrity to another mm -hmm. worldwide, uh, but one of the biggest celebrities ever. 
Justin Bieber, he's showing his yes, vulnerable side. Yes. He's showing his vulnerable. I think it's a big deal to show the world that you're vulnerable, yes, especially when you're an, um, an artist or a celebrity of that level, mm -hmm. A-list. What is he saying? Now, he's saying that he's been going through a lot lately and that they should put him in their prayers and all, that people should pray for him and that he believes in God and he believes that God can change situations and all of that. So mm. I, I think every celebrity should take a cue from Justin Bieber because so? it gets to a point where everything happens is on social media. Now, we don't know exactly what the issue is with Justin Bieber, but we know he has a problem and he wants to get us involved by getting us to pray for him. Mm. Yes. Every celebrity should go off at some point, leave social media. You have a life, face that life. When hmm. you're done sorting that life, it will be fine to tell us, oh, I was away for so, so, so reason. But we don't want to like, know the whole story, how it happened. I beg you, Richard, we want to know. Uh, no, no, no. We want to, <laughs> yes, yes. We want gist, but don't break it. Don't, we don't have to live your life like we're in your bedroom and all of that. Unless, of course, you want us to come take some of your clothes and, oh, yeah, and wear them and, oh, but otherwise, it's just, yeah. Okay, so, but the point is, he's showing his vulnerable yes, and, yes, is. prayers have been going up for him. Mm -hmm. uh, let's wish him the best. Are you sure people are praying for him, though? Yeah, yeah, he has are some Bieber, some diehard. Yeah. I'm not a diehard uh, Bieber oh, fan, okay. so, but I know yeah. some of his fans will do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, R. Kelly is... Uh, he's in deeper and deeper <laughs> trouble. We know that yeah. he has been in the news, but then there's something new. What's, yes. what's the update? There's what's a new, new sex tape, people. And they say this first, like, okay, sources have it that the particular sex tape yeah. is very intense. It has all the, you know, this one hey, is uh, uh, plenty Richards, okay. A N A L issue that I, I can't begin. But one thing I know for sure is that I want to, I really do want to say it. I really do want to see. <laughs> She's I, want to see. <laughs> I really want to see. Okay, the point yeah, is that, really that this will get him. This is a confirmation. That interview he did, was it a right move for him? Uh, somehow, yes, to clear the air and then to get him to talk. To, because, B, I really don't understand what's going on. You know, this minute is in the news for doing such a sort of thing, and the next minute the girls are coming out to say that yeah, their parents are trying, the parents to, trying um, to take advantage, advantage of the of issue, him and, all of that. and then it's going to court, it's out on bail. It's, so there's just so much going on. So I thought, it, but where I did not, where I kind of got confused was when he started crying. I'm like, oh, Kelly, I don't know you like this. I know you're as king of Iron B. Don't come out and be giving us some, um, just a small let's move. Like, the that storm is, like, so, is starting. Yeah. No, storm like, it's, it's starting just too much. It's just too much. <laughs> okay. But all I know is that I want to see the video. Okay. All right, yeah. moving on from that. Let's, you, didn't, you didn't hear that on Wake Up Nigeria. <laughs> and uh, talking about videos, of course, uh, a video was seen and it made police come to a conclusion that Juicy mm -hmm. Smollett was lying. But then he has now been officially indicted. 16 of count. A 16 count 16. charge. 16. Eight for lying to police officers and the other eight Another for... Another interview yes, on the same day. On the same day and all of that. Look, man, now the point is that he has now had that indictment. It's most probable that he will go, he will serve time for, yes. for, for that. I want him to. Hmm. Yes. I really do want him to, mm. yes, because that would serve as a warning. As a deterrent. To other, yes, other celebrities out there. I don't like I'm coming at them today, but I mean, it's, it's become it's a trend in Nigeria these days. Sheila, Two Face, Idibia, mm. all of them lately now, they've been pulling up stunts to do one thing. Yeah. If Jesse was a Nigerian, would have passed, would have moved on with this thing. No, you didn't just say Yes, that. very true. <laughs> okay. But really now, really, okay. who would chase the ish, really? Really, no one would. Okay, true. we got to go, we got to go. It wasn't it was good having you on the show. Thank you for uh, your takes yeah. on all those uh, topics, right? Yeah. Okay, that's all we can take. Uh, now, we would normally say second half or first half. This is, okay, one, one over three. Two over three don't end. <laughs> so, we're about getting to three. Uh, the third hour, don't go nowhere. Wake Up Nigeria continues after this. Still another hour to go. We've been here two whole hours. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Two whole hours have flown by this morning already. But believe it or not, there's still quite a lot, a lot of things that we haven't shown you yet. We're bringing some more your way. Yeah. This In case you didn't know, yeah. uh, the show now starts at 6 a.m. So don't forget. <laughs> you know, we're just 
letting you know mm -hmm. that, yeah. that you're going to stay with TVC <laughs> from 6 all the way through your day. Whether you honestly. like it or not. Yes, indeed. It's gonna, we're going to be here till almost 9 a.m., so yeah. make sure you stay with us. My name is Titi Laya Oinsong. And I'm Yomi Okwe. We're streaming live right now on Facebook at TVC Connect. Now, for comments, use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria. We already have some comments coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, people wishing others um, happy birthday. a happy birthday on Instagram and on Twitter as well. I haven't checked out Facebook, mm. but that's going on already. Yes, indeed. So sending your birthday shout outs as soon as you can. We'll be talking about them a bit later on the show. Yeah. Uh, and of course, every week we'll have birthday shout outs now. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. So from here on, we have M.M. Wogugu. She'll be joining us as our parenting expert today. Parenting segment this week is talking about parenting from a united front. A very interesting topic there. Mm -hmm. And from Le Chic Salon, we're going to be having the CEO uh, talk to us about... Uh, well, maintaining curly hair. Curly hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love curly hair. It's, it is actually quite a task to that maintain. That one is my favorite. Goodness me. And so our curly hair is greasy and some others... Okay, <laughs> let's just move on. Okay, our guest for today is Nigerian actor and comedian Huche Nadi. And we'll be having a chat with him much later on. Yeah. And I don't know about you, man. That, yeah. that coffee break at six, man. I need another one. I need another second coffee break. Doing you? You know, <laughs> I need know, another yeah, cup of coffee. You have been spoke about it. We've been talking about six, and we need to let people know we'll talk about it for some more yeah. time. Mm. But, you know, it's not just only about us. It just came into my mind. You know, the wind beneath our wings, the whole crew behind this, there are a lot of people that are making six o'clock happen. Yeah. And, and I just thought about it from everybody. Of course, yeah. we I can't, can't call names of that. Can't call names. But everybody. <laughs> we should call names. Room to the floor. We no, should call names. No, we'll have, no, no let's, let's put it out there. if you leave someone out. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put it out we'll there. We've done it twice soon. before. Yeah. Yeah. Very soon, we'll have a crew appreciation day. Yes, we oh. should. We'll put it out there. So everybody, yeah. you're That's really much. sweet, Mike. So really I, I, sweet. Yeah, because I think our crew appreciation day should be on March 11th. Wow. Yes. Okay. Why? Because that was when we started. The six. Yeah. Like it's it's been really tough. I know we we'll do one before that. Time. But, yeah. but, but uh, <laughs> the point is, you know, the when you day should be March 11. Yeah. Yeah. So wait till so next year. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. The rest of six years. Uh, so, I mean, so we should wait till. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just wondering. So we can do one now, and then we'll make it like moving forward. For goodness sake, June June 12 this year is I love Day. Yeah. You know what? You know the best crew appreciation day though. Yeah. Imagine if everybody got a pay packet. Like, yeah. like <laughs> one like extra, extra pay. month's pay mm -hmm. as crew appreciation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I normally see when you see a swan um, on the surface. Yeah. They look so cool. They're gliding. They're just so. But underneath, they're, they're flapping like crazy. They're like yeah. mad. Yeah. So, that's what the crew does behind. Mm -hmm. You know, the wind beneath our wings. So, be shout out to our crew. Look at looking all glamorous. You all are. Uh, but if you much. know what's firing. <laughs> Like if you look at Musa going, Mary, you know, what is your problem? Like, and I'm like, sorry, okay. sir. <laughs> Why did she cut the crew to talk about you now? Okay, so you know, you know, the, you know, the, the major, the major thing I appreciate about the crew is the fact that they all pull together. Even if something is like about to fall apart, everyone bands together and makes sure everything goes smoothly. And we, we, we trust them the only thing with about, our whole heart. The only bad thing about the crew is that they think I eat too much. And wow. Just small thing, I just taste in the kitchen. Hey, is it? My clean thing. Ah, ah. Is it good? I leave my name, Mr. Abusa, I told you. Leave me in the kitchen. I don't taste anything today. The truth is, Mike eats a lot. I do. <laughs> Mike I loves don't. food. That's it, that's it. And that's Mike it. takes over the kitchen. Don't as believe, as don't believe everything you see. One day I'll come out, one day. The, the, truth, will, the truth will come out. You come out. The truth. So Mike said one day I'll come out. That's what he said. <laughs> that was oh, wow. Yeah, the truth, the truth will come out one day. Oh, he's the, oh, I'll the come truth. out with the truth. Yes, I'll come out with the truth. Okay, that's what he's trying to say. You people, don't believe everything you see on television. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm not shaking that table with you. Who's Don't that mind table? somebody uh, shouting now. Don't get some, somebody's getting. Oh. She's getting too excited now. Oh I, I, I thought we we're gonna have a little bit more time to talk about the, the Josie Smollett issue. Uh, yeah. Sharply, sharply, less. Because I mean, now everybody has all the people that supported him in the first place and defended him. They're quiet too. They're uh, quiet. Okay. They're not even pulling back their words. They're just saying, you know what, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, but, so but the my, truth my is worry is indicted, moving forward, but not I hope, convicted. I hope yet. that it would not cause counts. problems for other people who have such dieted, genuine issues. And it will, but not it will. Are you convicted. sure you're not pulling a smallet? A smallet, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a new one. You're yeah. pulling a smallet. It's, it's, right? That's really, that's it's really bad. It's not black. It's half. Just oh, bro, don't go there. He's still black. <laughs> You're welcome again. It's still Wake Up Nigeria and it's time for parenting. Now, traditionally, a home usually involves more than one person raising a child and the need to be united in raising these children can never be overemphasized. Now, joining us to talk to us about a united front in raising children is author and parenting coach, M.M. Wogugu. How are you doing today, M.M.? fine, thank you. Great to have you, you here. Very well, thank you. Uh, so, parenting is a very huge subject. Exactly. And one of the things that uh, formed the basis for raising a child right is actually parenting the right way. And one of the important parts of parenting the right way is joint parenting. Yes. Well, what's the benefit of this? The benefit is, is that your kids are going to be stable mentally, mm. emotionally. Mm. They're going to have the same personality. Sometimes you find people having dual personalities. Mm. They behave this way when dad is around. When mom is around, they act a different way. Yeah. Because, I mean, the, the poor parents are not united on certain boundaries. So the benefit outweighs, you know, the, um, the, um, the, the disadvantages. Because when, when you are in agreement with your spouse or your partner, yeah. in case you're not married, you know, the child knows that, yes, I have one voice. This is what they want. This is what they stand for. There's unity, there's love, there's agreement. And then the child grows up to become a responsible individual in the society. No. How can we achieve that? Well, first of all, you have to visibly love each other. V visibly, like the couple? The couple. They have to, the parents have to visibly yes. love each yes. other. Okay. There has to be um, a good relationship in the, in the home. Mm. The atmosphere has to be loving. Of course, not all the time. Mm -hmm. they, they, I mean, no, no family will tell me they don't have issues once in a while, but this, this children or this child has to grow up in an environment where they see more love, peaceful environment and they know that this couple or partners are united okay so, so when, when there's love between mommy and daddy despite the fact that they come from different backgrounds let me give you a, an example so daddy believes that children have no business in the living room why because he grew up in a situation where his parents always had the living room speak and span okay. now mommy believes that children have a right to play in the living room yes they might clear up later but they have the right to play in the living room and if guests come then they could always make room for the guests as well because it's the children's house as well. Yes. Uh, but it's, it's, it's an issue where parents are like, this is what I want, this is my background, this is what I believe. How can you reach a middle ground in such a situation? Of course, I have to sit down and talk about it. And it's one of the, one of the most common problems in parenting is agreement. I have certain agreed yeah. boundaries. Yeah. Agreement on TV time, um, what time should the kids watch TV? How long should they watch TV? Another person coming from another background might not see any reason why you should set any boundary for TV. Mm -hmm. Some people even have agreement for food. Like yeah. some, 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 some parents don't mind their kids eat 10 times a day. Yeah. Some parents, so, so another partner will say, no, this is not how I was brought up. Just twice or three yeah. times a day because I want them to be healthy. Mm -hmm. So once there's agreement, agreement on how the kids should be polite, mm -hmm. how they talk to people, mm -hmm. how people relate to them, and even extended family members. Like I tell my mom, oh, this is how I want um, you know, people to speak to my daughter. Mm -hmm. This is how I speak to her. This is how I want you to relate to her. And I tell everyone coming to the house, everyone relating or close to the family, they have to know what your stand is for TV, for everything, for relationship, being polite, how they speak, their manners. There has to be agreement and it has to be open for everybody that this is where I, this is where I stand. Yeah. All right now, MM, there's something that is quite prevalent in our society and okay. we cannot ignore it yes, now. Yes. Joint parenting. Yes. We have My parents way. that are either divorced or they never got married, but they, they share a child. Yes. And both parents are very involved in the life of that child. Yes. You mentioned earlier that we're talking about love. There has to be love between the parents. When a situation where the parents don't love each other anymore, well, it's a case of trying to put up a front for the child. How can you still maintain this? united parents in front for me first of all they might need a coach a counselor or a family member mm. who is older and mature they have to come together sit down have a civil agreement mm. civil because they want the child to grow up in a very healthy environment so they need to make conscious effort their adult put their differences away and then agree on how they want this child to be raised up what if the difference is i want you back 
I want to and back. So it's also and I don't used want to as and I don't exactly, want to. yeah. So like, so nobody wants to sit down to talk about anything. That's really tough. So and you still want to raise your child the right that's way. Really, really so tough. how do you now maintain that united front? Like, let's understand that our differences aside, yes, we don't have to pretend to pretend, like each yeah, other. Exactly. How do we work this out? It's good. it's really tough at the beginning. The the couple, you know, whoever is. Crying, crying out for the, the, the other partner has to maybe find a way to get healing first. Mm. They have to go through maybe counseling and give themselves some time mm. and then they come back together and see how they can raise that child. Can the child wait while they're doing the counseling? The child's going to be hot in the child. I mean, exactly. that's why it's important that the parents have to put their differences aside mm. and really, really focus on how they want to raise their children. Okay. So, so the, the most important person in this the, is yeah, the At the children. moment, yes, is the child. And then, of course, uh, we also talk about, um, you know, we just talked about joint parents when yes. the parents are separate. Yes, when they're separate. When other parents are involved in such a way that there are step parents involved as well. Yes. And these children have to go to these different step parents, you yes. know. I'm going to my dad's house, house today, I'm going to my mom's house tomorrow. Okay. How can you still maintain that balance? Because um, there's always that possibility that either parent is not even involved at that moment. Yeah. Daddy might be at work, uh, mom might be away sometimes when the stepdad is there. How do you still maintain that? The only way to maintain that is actually to make, you have to, you have to call mm. your, the other partner, tell them your stand for this, they go to bed by seven or they don't want TV to this time, please tell your housekeeper, please tell your own partner, my kids don't do this and don't do that, they, are, they are pack their stuff, they are, they are allergic to this, mm. you know, they don't eat this, they don't eat that, you have to really communicate, just communication. That is the word, yeah, that's I've the been word. waiting for that word, it's yes. all about communication. communication. It's very important. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. MM, yeah, thank, thank you. you so much for thank being you here for today. Me. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. So Thank basically, uh, when you want to have uh, a united front, communication is key. It's very, it's key. Now, Titi has a denike of the chic salon with her for a hair DIY. And this one is all about curly hair. My hair isn't curly today, though. But hi, Titi. Are you ready for us? Hi, Mary. Wow. Okay, so if there's one thing women love to take care of, now it's their hair. <laughs> I've been avoiding curly wigs because of the work that goes into maintaining them. Now we have Adinike of House of Le Chic here. House of Le Chic knows how to look <laughs> after our hair. Yes, yes. And she has uh, a model here with an amazing curly wig on. Yes. So what's the first thing I need to know about maintaining okay. a curly wig? First thing you need to know about maintaining a curly wig is so easy. Most people think it's quite difficult because it's coily and it might be difficult to maintain because but it's really easy as long as you know some basic steps to know to know okay yeah so what are the things i need okay what you need is a fine tooth comb like this okay and okay. your brush okay big brush like that and you need a spray bottle of okay. water is water that is inside it's just, ordinary, it's just water. ordinary water okay and you need your conditioner so that's your well. leave-in conditioner. Yes, your leave-in conditioner as well. It's quite important. And it's really important to know also not to use too much leave-in conditioner. Okay. When you want to apply your conditioner, you just get like a small dollop of it. Okay. A little? Just a little. Just a just little? Just like that. Just wow. very small. That's enough? That's enough. Okay. All that's right. enough. So you just apply it on the hair. Okay. Let's turn like her that. around now. Okay, so you just because apply the reason it to why the surface. We, yes, yeah. to the surface. And the reason why we apply just a little is because the more you add it every day, mm. it accumulates. So if it accumulates, it gets stiff. Your hair gets stiff. Okay. So if you're going, to, if you're going to be adding leave-in conditioner, you apply just a little bit to the hair. Okay. So, so just what is important is the water. All right. So the water. Why is the water important? To hydrate the hair, to make it look very healthy. Mm. So we just get the water and we just spray the hair. Okay. So you do the spraying of water every single day. Every day, as long as you're wearing it. Okay. So you just pretty hair to make it look you can already see this side the curls are beginning to bounce back curls are beginning and once you apply another thing you need to know is once you apply the water to the hair you scrunch up like that oh okay so you can see as i'm scrunching the hair up the curls are becoming more defined yeah, you don't yeah. apply the water and then bring then the flatten, hair to flatten it. it no you just bring it up like that just okay. to scrunch it up okay so let's spray a little bit more to the other side there yeah let's see all right. So water, leaving conditioner. Water and leaving conditioner. The another trick I like to do. Mm -hmm. This one is like, it's a tip. Okay. What? <laughs> so what I do is, I get my water. I open, I apply, just put small leaving conditioner in my water. 
Oh, into you get the water bottle. Into the water bottle and oh. then you mix it like that. So once you're spraying it, you don't necessarily have to put the conditioner, conditioner. anymore because the conditioner is already in the water. So okay. that's just the trick. I haven't seen you use any oil at all. Well, it's you only apply oil when the hair is looking very dry, like during her matan period, and you apply just small. Okay. Because you don't want it to be shining too much, just okay. to make it look um, hydrated and okay. okay. So I know there are some women at home right now who have some wigs that have gone <laughs> crazy. Like this wig doesn't look like a wig anymore. It looks like something that catches dust in the corner of the bedroom or something. So if I want to revive a wig that's really, really okay. gone bad, what do First I do? First of all, you need to do is you need to get, take it to a stylist to treat it for you. Okay. What you need to do is to treat. And once you get, get it treated, you get, it's very important also, when you're combing your wig or your coily hair, not to do it from here. Okay. You, you have to detangle it first. Okay, so you don't comb from you the top. You don't comb it from the top. Okay. It's really important. You don't comb it from the top like that. Okay. Because your wig has been stored somewhere for a yeah. while, so it gets really clunky or okay. at all. So you just, first of all, detangle and then gradually work your way up. To the top. To the top like that. Okay. So you don't need... So you start from the tips? You start from the tips. Mm. And this that's why you, you need this, actually. You first start from the tip. Okay. Then you get your brush, mm. and then, then you now brush it okay, down. Right. Then you scrunch up. So you brush it down, you brush it scrunch down. up. So the men watching right now are like, so these women, this is what they're always doing. That's why it takes so long. Yes, that's why it takes so long. But I can see that this hair is looking all revived right yes. now. Um, but... What about when I'm done with this curly look and okay. I want to store it? What when you I want do? to store your wig. Mm. Okay, now I'll, I'll just show you what you do here. Okay. We're going to take off hers. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all See, right. She has a protective cap on okay. it. The right. cap will protect her scalp, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what you do now is you turn the wig inside out. Okay. Like that. All right. You turn it all you the turn way it inside all the way out. inside out. Yeah. And then you just... You so you're folding the wig yes, inside itself? Yes, you're folding itself. it inside it, okay. like that. So the net is, the cap is the one that is outside. Okay. So you now get your net, a just hair net. In a, a hair net like this. Mm -hmm. And then you just wrap, put, it round. wrap it around, hmm. wrap it inside. This will maintain the curls all right, of the all hair. Right. Okay. And then you put it in a nylon bag or whatever, you tie it, you seal it. You still put it inside a nylon, nylon bag? Inside a nylon bag or hey, just okay. any bag. Just so why the bagging after I've done all this? Because it will, it will prevent any dust or any kind of Dirt, make it yeah. dry or mm -hmm. make it look bad. Okay. So you just tie it inside a nylon bag and seal it and just keep it. And when you're ready, you just remove it and then rock it again. Wow, I didn't care. You see why I need you in my life? <laughs> You see, you see, I know the mistake I've been making. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll try my curly look next week or maybe the week after that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Adenike from you. House of Le Chic. Yes. Amazing, amazing stuff. Thank you so much for watching. We still have quite a bit more coming your way on Wake Up Nigeria, but right after this. Welcome back. Now, Huche Nadi <laughs> is a Nigerian actor, comedian, entrepreneur, and all-round entertainer. Between 2016 and 2019, he's been in about 11 movies and is currently on Africa's number one family drama series, The Johnson's Family, where he plays the character of Good Luck Okoli. <laughs> there, there he is on the <laughs> screen there in action. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. This is a sharp, sharp rose that deputy called me to come and do. Mm. Wow. Ah, good luck, Okoli, there. <laughs> AKA yes, Uche sir. Nadi. Or should we say Uche Nadi, AKA Good Luck, Okoli? Uh, uh, right. Good to have you join us this morning. You guys are doing an amazing job. Ah, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Did we add that we've been here since 6 a.m.? I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> Like, we've yeah. been on the air since... Yeah, yeah, I came like seven, so I've been watching you guys here. Wow. Beautiful work. <laughs> nice one, nice one. Um, so, uh, I love the Johnsons. I mean, it's it's been around for a while. People <laughs> like it, people follow it. But how do you get on a show like that? Mm. And especially if, for instance, maybe you you are a serious actor and you then they then force you to be in a comedy or something like that. <laughs> but you call yourself a comedian anyway. Mm. Well, how, how, do you, how do you create that balance for yourself? Well, I think um, at some point, um, as an actor, you should be able to fit in whatever role they want you to play, you know. Uh, so it works better for you if you're not stereotyped, mm. if you can pull from this and this. When people see me most times, they say, ah, 
How do you mix the two of them? Now you're playing this very serious person and this. I said, this is what I'm paid to do. But you look like a serious person. Like if somebody meets I you on the I actually thought he was really, like, really <laughs> ultra serious guy. People say that. Hold yeah. on. People say that. But the truth is that, you see, uh, part of the reason why um, entertainers will keep mix missing it. For me, I believe um, show business shouldn't be a lifestyle. It's a profession. Okay. Right. So I, I expect people to take it like that. Mm. So the same way people wake up in the morning and go to go to work, those that work in the bank, yeah. same way I wake up and I go to work. So Instagram is like some people's office, you know. You yes, just so. basically wake up and you do your Instagram and, do Instagram and, and then focus then, on your own personal. Yeah. Life so for me, the same way you take your business, the same way I take my business. Uh, sometimes if you even call me to come for something as little as a morning devotion in your house, I'll first ask. <laughs> Money. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Getting, getting. <laughs> All right, but I, I like the way you, you sort of said, you know, um, it shouldn't be a lifestyle. No. But when it comes to your lifestyle, you know, how, how are you able to find and create your own lifestyle around an in industry like this? So a lot of people are making the industry their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Everything they wear from their shoes must be blinging, their, their, their hair must be blinging. So they've made, they've taken work into their life. So how are you able to balance that? But up? first, um, for me, um, I don't put my private life on social media. First, mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing I'm doing something that puts me in people's face all the time. So I try to stay to take my my private life mm -hmm. away from social media. Mm -hmm. Most people don't even know I'm married. You know, uh, I'm saying it now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just putting it out yeah. there. So ladies, no, so, keep so away. people can just keep take away. it. You know, on my on my on my um, Facebook and Instagram page, I have like two two. Two, I think three different brides. So people say, ah, "Wow, which is yours?" You know, but three different brides. Is that what you said? From yeah. different roles. Different from different roles. Wow, roles, right. really? So you put me in trouble. <laughs> we're just saying because we're writing it down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so the, the, the truth is, take your private life away from social media. You do the public thing. People see you all the time. So they don't, I don't think they need to. They need that more details about your private life. Yeah. The Johnsons has a, a huge. Um, plot that involves the private life of a family, right? Um, so how is it on the set? Are you guys actually really like a family or do you guys just arrive, like the way <laughs> we arrive in the morning and they act like you all know each other? And how, how is it on is set? Is it all work or, work, you know? Work every day, hmm. 7 a.m. till 6, 5 sometimes. Wow. So what happens um, when you see the same people Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Mm. Obviously, we'll have disagreement, we'll agree, you know. We're like a family. Yeah. It's yeah. A, it what what we see on TV is an extension of what, what we, what we share. Hmm. You know? Really? Yeah, trust me. Okay. From the crew, the cast, everyone. Okay. Hmm. Trust me. Now, I mean, you, you've been in uh, several movies since 2016. Um, which of them, I mean, I know you have the Johnsons, which has defined a lot of mm. who you are, what you do. I mean, it's something that you do most of most of the day when you're on, when you're on the set, but... Uh, which of the films have you been in that you said, you know, this is remarkable, this is um, life-changing for me personally? Yeah, some, um, like I said, most of them are not even out, but I can pick one, The Choice by Zubi. Right, uh, right. Uh, the yeah. Choice, uh, I think we filmed it in Emo State Away. It was a bit um, challenging for me because I was, uh, I was expected to jump one story building. No way. You know, you know, in an industry where we barely have insurance, mm. uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a choice. It was, it was a, a choice. choice. And yeah, yeah. And then, you know, you know, initially it was, you know, when you give people the impression that you can do it, they, if you do it, they won't see it as something yeah. that is gang, yeah. you know. So did you yari for them? First, I said, I can't do. <laughs> you guys should look for, let's play around it, let's improvise, you know. <laughs> And then they brought this guy that is supposed to come teach me how to how to jump, to jump, jump and, wow. You know. okay. So why did the guy just jump and then they? You know, uh, take the it? guy jumped. The guy jumped. Yeah, he wow. jumped, but uh, something jumped him. Wow, mm. what happened? Oh, wow. What happened? I think he had, a, I think he dislocated his ankle. No. Got, got a, a, a ligament tear. Oh my you know, god! At that point, now. <laughs> <laughs> The guy that was supposed to teach you. Can you yeah. The stunt, the stunt no. guy. Yeah. The stunt guy. Yeah, you know this, this is in this country. <laughs> Work not this. Everybody can afford to be yeah, anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow. so at that anything point too, now, yeah. I was in between. <laughs> this person will work on. Teach wow. me, don't wound, you know. Mm. 
So did you actually I did, jump? I did, I actually You jump. did? Yeah, wow, yeah. okay. I read theater art, so, so I know a bit of that. Yeah. Uh, okay. So when you jump, you don't jump and stay on it. You jump and, and then you roll. Yeah. yeah. You know. But the funny thing was that when I jumped, the, the camera guy that was supposed to receive me <laughs> down now said, so real, I did not roll. Ha <laughs> ha! No, what kind of <laughs> He wasn't rolling, so you no, had to jump again? But the truth is, before then, I prepared my mind that, okay, I'll jump twice. Okay. Whatever they can get within this twice. If that you don't get it, get it yeah. that's all. Okay, so you jumped the second time. I jumped the second time. Oh, so you wow. distributed your body weight by rolling. Like, yeah, once you jump That's something on the, I'm learning now. Yeah, okay. Once you jump oh, and you, you transfer the energy, the yeah. weight. All over your body yeah, so that, that you way, you, when you stand, you yeah. stagger a bit though. Yeah. yeah. But it's the same way uh, Danford drivers back in the day, if they're mm. jumping off a bus, they run it's at like, the speed of the bus. Talk like no, no, not, just yeah. the, not just the Danford drivers. They're talking like someone we're walking in the Yeah, so <laughs> serious walk. Ah, no, I've jumped off a few Danfords back it, in the day. Because they don't stop. Yeah, they never used to stop yeah, so then, just, yeah. anyway. There was never bus stops. <laughs> no, you jump off and, and, and then just yeah, keep, running keep running until yeah. you feel them. You like start joking. <laughs> <laughs> you think someone is owing you. Oh, okay. You have you to have run to with it. Run. You have to no, run with the bus. Yeah. As you if they own you mm. change. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, then you slow down. And way, way back, we call it that tamo. It must have been an we'll call experience. It yeah. For that wow. kind of, you know, talk and roll that uh, you did, mm. let's talk and roll you to the kitchen now. Yeah. Let's yeah. reward you, you know for ready. that thing in yeah, case so they didn't reward you for the choice. The problem, I say, these guys, the way they do this thing, they need a fat. I don't know whether they chop this thing. Well, yeah. the chefs weight. are never, well, I won't say never. Uh, they don't eat That's all it. the food. Please go ahead. No. Yeah. They don't eat all the food. This is, this is Hu Huche Nadi, guys. Huche. Yes, sir. Huche, hi. <laughs> yeah, today we have Chef Alex, yeah. and he made this dish. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to tell you about it. Please do. Yes. Hi, okay. uh, <laughs> this is just corn fritters. This is corn fritters, corn fritters avocado. made with avocado mm -hmm. in between. Corn, corn fritters. fritters. Sweet corn fritters. Sweet corn fritters. So basically, fritter. You, you should tell him how you yeah. came about Yeah, so sweet, sweet corn fritters is made with um, chopped corn, the sweet corn chopped, finely chopped, then mixed with milk, eggs, Ooh. you know. Mm. Mm. So oh, mixed together, then milk. evaporated milk. Goodness So me. that way we just um, shallow Sounds fry like it really in the nice pan. nice breakfast. Yeah. Hashtag eject. So we just shallow what? fry it <laughs> that way. Evaporated milk. Uh, evaporated Please, uh, milk. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of evaporated milk is fresh milk. Fresh milk, dude. Yeah. Yeah, fresh. Yeah. Is there an opposite? Like, milk is not evaporated. What is it? It's fresh. That's what I mean by opposite. I'm serious. Like, it's that's fresh. Yeah, yeah definitely. So go ahead and add yeah, the Evaporated means it's been processed. You know, ordinarily in my house, I would do this thing with my hand. Uh, well, you can. I if, 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 feel free. You know, when, they, when they chop with you, you don't know before. Feel free. So you also respect yourself. <laughs> So the avocado is in between, so, you know, take it easy as you're lifting it up. Mm. Yeah. Ah, this okay. guy's a pro, this guy's a pro, ah, ah, you understand. Uh -huh. ah, the burger it <laughs> So talk to, us, talk to us. So what do you think? This is good. Right. So that's, that's nice evaporated one, chef, avocado. This is fresh avocado. <laughs> wow. We don't get evaporated avocado. It's that's milk. We're talking about the milk. Mm. That's the difference. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. All right, looks really there. great. Why am I, why am I the only one eating? Uh, oh, no, you're no, the guest. Don't worry. We're respecting ourselves. We're respecting ourselves. We're fully sorted this morning. We're respecting ourselves. There's somebody who always helps himself during the show. You know when you go person the house, house now you only you, like you, you, only you will be the visitor the chop. You get us a view. They don't know. That means they plan. They plan for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We've had a great show so far. We started at 6 a.m. today. Yes, indeed. We're going to be doing that from now on. Wake Up Nigeria is coming your way from 6 a.m. Yeah. on TV. Yeah, and that information is for all our viewers who didn't know before now. Mm -hmm. So in case you tuned in at 7 today, yeah. it's now at 6. And it still ends at the same time, but yeah. you know, we'll, we'll begin at 6 now. All right, so tomorrow morning we will be back yes, for indeed. Wednesday's edition. Big thank you to Homely NG for the kitchen accessories on the show. And of course, Fola at Fola's Place for the amazing hairstyling. You. you know we love you, Fola. Thank you. Mm. And uh. it's all about <laughs> you, the people. <laughs> Tune in to us tomorrow. Yeah. Have a great day. Have a great day while yes, we go back to bed. Happy birthday. Bye. Happy birthday, Moshe. You're right.